out to clean evaporator coils step by step. Let's get it. First step you want to do before cleaning your evaporator coils is make sure that the fan is in the auto position and the system is set to off. We don't want anything running while doing this cleaning. Now there's tons of evaporator coil cleaners that you can use, but what I used to use when I did HVAC professionally was Triple D. It will give you tons of uses. If you are a homeowner, you can get away with using one of those spray-on, wash it sells cans if you're just going to do it for a one-time thing but if you're cleaning evaporator coils on the on the daily i highly recommend using triple d per the instructions for evaporator coils you want to do one to one part triple d to 10 parts water for condenser coils i think they call for one to five ratio That's gonna be our cleaning solution for today. As far as a brush to brush the coils, any type of uh, toilet brush, dishwasher brush would work. You just want um, soft bristles. That's the key. This is the one I'm gonna use. This is gonna work just fine. You want to start from the top with your brush and then go down, up to down. You don't want to go side to side. That could bend the aluminum coils. These things are fragile. Just up, down. After you brush it, go ahead and spray again. Try and knock anything else loose. Get all that grime. And you can repeat the spray brushing process as many times as it takes to get the coil clean. This one is not really that bad. If you want to take things further, this is a HVAC fin comb. And if your coils are starting to warp like this, sometimes you can use this to straighten them out. That'll allow a little more airflow to go through. Once you use up all your coil cleaner, I like to rinse it with fresh water. The instructions for the Triple D say that it will self-rinse itself, but I don't like that. I like just hitting it up with some nice hot water. Got some nice clean water in our spray bottle. Pump it up. And same as before, start from the top and work your way down. I'll usually fill this up one or two times to get all the dirt out, but since we have access to the drip pan, I like to get a rag, hit it with that coil cleaner and just kind of wipe this drain pan out, get all that sludge out. So that way when the new tenant moves in, there's gonna be no musty smells coming from this air handler. And I just try and clean the drain pan out, flush it with water, and let's make sure that condensate line is nice and clean as well. It's like killing two birds with one stone. All right, that's it y'all. There's the finished product. Nice and shiny for the new resident. Gonna put our filter in and go on to the next repair. Hopefully I'll see y'all there. I'm Dave Spakes, see you on the next one.